Last episode, we played against the Panthers, and DJ Moore was against his former team, end up scoring our first touchdown. And that boy Marvin Harrison Jr. was also going crazy. He had a lot of targets in this game. While we was up 10 to 7, we got a big play from Marvin Harrison as he scored his first touchdown of the game. And this game was actually close for the entire game. I was having a pretty good game too, getting big first downs whenever we needed them. And then to get the two score lead, Marvin Harrison ends up getting his second touchdown of the game. Just going crazy. I ain't played too much defense in this game, but we need great defense here as we're only up 14 points with about three minutes left, and Chase Young ended up getting injured for the rest of the game. But then Bryce Young trying to make this a one-score game, he throws a pick in the end zone, and this basically cures the dub. The offense was doing pretty good. Justin Fields had three touchdowns. I had 111 yards, no tug, but Marvin Harrison, man, that boy had two touchdowns and almost 100 yards. He just fell short one yard. And with that game, that guy Justin Fields his first NFC Offensive Player of the Week of this year. Hopefully he can get some more. Now currently going into week five, I'm number one in receiving yards. Only 36 attempts, but 456 yards and three tugs. Averaging 114. Marvin Harrison is coming up, man. 266 yards, averaging 66 with four touchdowns. He's definitely rising the ranks in the receiving leaders. Fields really ain't average too much yards passing, but that's an offense still look good because the rushing mixed in with the passing. We're doing good. And he ain't throwing no picks yet. And this week we're playing against the Rams, who actually decided to draft Drake May. So it's gonna be fun. Starting this game off on defense, they already on our side of the field, and I gotta get my weight up. I was not ready for that running back to just run me over like that. But then on the very next play, I had to get my get back a little bit, hitting him on his legs this time. I had to hit him. <laughs> now in the zone on second and eight, Drake May is going to dot us up to get this first down. Now due to me being only a slot cornerback, I actually was not in the game. Four goal line situations, cuz, you know what I'm saying? I'm not supposed to be in there anyway. They end up scoring. Now on offense, Justin Fields is throwing his ball straight to me, forcing it to me. I still make the catch, but we ain't getting no yards. Now on second and 10, DJ Moore is open down the field. All Justin Fields had to do was put that ball on the money. It was overthrown. The best you could do after blowing a big play is by making a big play. And he's throwing a dot to Marvin Harrison Jr. for the first down. Then on first and 10, this time he's actually going to be able to hit DJ Moore in the middle of the field for the first down, making it happen. When you got a receiver like Marvin Harrison on your team, you have to find him every single play because he's going to be open as he makes that great catch for the first down. Trying to run the ball here, but that boy Aaron Donald got through the line immediately and got to me before I could even get going. I was a little slow getting up too. But now it's the second quarter and I'm good. Justin Fields don't know who to throw the ball to, so he's going to go ahead and use his legs, his best attribute. He should have probably slid down, but he took the hit anyway. Third down. Then on third and four, Donald Mooney is wide open on the end route, catching his ball and finding a way to score this touchdown. I don't know how he did it, but he did that. Third and 10 and we're in a zone. And the way Kyler Gordon just baited up Drake, made a throw this ball and get this pick was amazing. Now here on offense on first and 10 doing a play action and it was two blitzes and they both hit Justin Fields for a sack of seven yards. Third and 17 and Fields is gonna go ahead and just take the little check down because I guess he wants to go ahead and just punt the ball back. Now we on defense, second and 15 after getting the sack. They taking the check down. And then Chase Young got injured again. I mean, at this point, bro can't even really stay on the field. Third and 10 guard Puka Nakua, and he actually caught this ball. It hit stick him, but he ended up getting the first down. First and 10, and I'm literally in the zone right under where he's about to throw the ball. For some reason, I couldn't jump to catch that pick. It just went right over my head, man. No, I mean, like, for real, Madden. Like, Madden, Madden, Madden. Why couldn't I catch that? Now, on second and goal, almost getting his touchdown, but great thing there was multiple defenders getting a hit on the receiver. He had to drop the ball. Down 10-7 to 7 in the third quarter. They run the ball to my side. I'm going for his legs. Y'all saw what happened last time. I did not go for his legs. Then on third down, Drake May is going for the bomb, throwing this deep down the field, and that is incomplete, and there's an injury on the field. We're in the inside zone up the middle. I'm throwing this linebacker to the ground, getting this first down. I'm fighting for that. 
running the ball again, and I'm getting gone. But look at Aaron Donald just chasing me down. As soon as I did a juke move, he got me. We running the ball again. This time it's a stretch play to the left side, and I'm getting the first down, and then getting tackled. Second and three, running a play action, and he's throwing his ball up to Marvin Harrison, a jump ball, and you already know who came down with that. Tud. Great job to the defense getting a stop. We're at 14 to 10 in the fourth quarter, and I'm fighting for this first down. Then on second down, running the play action, he's throwing his ball at Marvin Harrison, who gets the first down. Now on third and five, Justin Fields is going to just force his ball into Marvin Harrison. There was like three defenders around there. Now defense got to lock up. We're only up four points. They got about three minutes and something left, so we got to lock up here. And they making them drop the ball there. Garden Puka Nakua in bunch formation. I was there, but I was not there enough, and he still was able to make that catch. On second and three, I'm going to flats, but I'm trying to bait this route, but I did not get there fast enough, and he was still able to make the catch after taking the hit. Then on first and ten, I got hit with a very fast out route. I just was not ready for that. He even rolled in and almost got the first. One yard short. Now on third and four, they're going for the touchdown here, and I'm in a zone. I don't know how this was a flag. I was just trying to play the ball, but he scored, and I got a P.I. Now, because of the amazing kick return, we are already here on their side of the field. Justin Fields throwing the ball, getting us closer to field goal range, the second and three. Now, we probably should have just ran the ball here, but we're passing, and Justin Fields are trying to run, but he ended up getting sacked. Third and six now. Now, at this point, we don't even got to do nothing else. We just got to kick this field goal and make sure we make it. And, well, I don't understand what happened. To be honest, we was in field goal range, and for some reason, I did they missed the field goal. So we lost. I have no idea how we lost this game. I mean, we didn't really turn the ball over at all, for real. Justin Fields had a pretty good game. I only ended up with about six carries in this game for 38 yards. It's a good average, but I didn't get too many carries. And that boy Marvin Harrison ended up with a touchdown in this game. But now after losing to the Rams, we have to win this next game. Now we're playing against the Packers in week six. And this is a little, you know what I'm saying, division rivalry that we cannot lose. We're in a play action on second down, and they actually bit on the run, and Justin Fields is getting gone. I tried to get to that safety to block him. Couldn't get there in time. Then on the next play, Marvin Harrison beats his man over the top, and Fields gets that ball right to him. Tug. Now on defense on second and 10, Christian Watson gets open down the field, but there's a safety right there to play that great defense. Then on third and 10, he's trying to get the first down, but that boy Kyler Gordon plays great defense, preventing the first. Up seven to three, running another read option, and look at Justin Fields getting to that first down. He needs to slide though, before something bad happens. Now we're out here on five and out, and for some reason, he thought that I was gonna be able to catch this ball, but he just overthrew it anyway. I think it's better that it was overthrown. They got us to a third down, but look at Marvin Harrison beating that DB over the top, scoring another touchdown. Oh my God. Coach actually kept me off the field for defense that time, and they ended up scoring. We're winning 14 to 10, and I'm fighting for this first down. On third down, Justin Fitz is going to throw me the ball, and I almost get the first down, but I somehow only end up fourth and in inches. And with being fourth and inches, why would we not go for the QB sneak? Easily getting it. On third down again, Justin Fields is going to go ahead and escape the pocket, using his speed, getting past everybody, and then fighting, trying to get as close as he can to the touchdown, gets to the three. Now running the inside zone on second and goal, and I'm diving in for the tug. Now it's the second half, we're up 21 to 10, running the play action, and Rashawn Gary gets in there, almost sacks him, but Justin Fields scrambles after breaking his sack somehow to gain four yards. And right after that, trying to run the ball, and Rashawn Gary immediately sheds and gets me for a tackle for loss. Now with being third and 12, Justin Fields has a wide open lane. He can just get this first down, but for why did he throw the ball out of bounds? He could have gained a lot of yards off that play. This game's trash. 
Now back on defense on first and ten, trying to go Christian Watson. He beats me to the inside and secures the catch. Third and seven, and Jordan Love trying to get this first down, but he does the wrong thing and trying to test Kyler Gordon, who's been playing amazing this season, playing great D. Now they have no choice but to go for it here on fourth and seven, and they get it, throwing a dot in the middle of the field right in between the zones. Then while guarding Christian Watson in the slot, I get beat by a crossing route, and he gets a big play, but good thing that safety was there to prevent the touchdown. That's tough. Probably won't happen again, but coach probably finna take me out since now they're at the goal line. All right, man, we're only up three points now, so I'm going to have to keep on running this ball and get this time down. Second and two running the play action, and Justin Fields throws a hot dot to the tight end, getting that first. Now, if you think Justin Fields does not have arm talent, just look at this play. Running to the left, throwing it to the right, and completing that pass for that first down. That's crazy. Now, on third and five, for some reason, he threw this out route to DJ Moore, but he threw it backwards, and he ended up getting pushed backwards, but he still found a way to get to fourth and one, and then one of our offensive linemen got injured. Now, it was fourth and one, so we probably should have went for it, but we instead decided to kick the field goal so we can be up eight points. I don't know how that wasn't just a deflation. I, how was that a PI? I need to know. Second and six, and he's going to go ahead and throw this ball to his running back, and both of us are going to miss this tackle as Aaron Jones fights for the first down. Then on first and 10, Jordan Love is testing me and go ahead and give me that pick for game. Because of my game winning slash saving pick, we win this game 24 to 16. On this game, there were no picks thrown until that last pick that won the game. And I know we're a pretty decent game on the ground, 14 for 70 in the tud. But look at how crazy Marvin Harrison went. Six catches, 126 yards, and two touchdowns. Just crazy. And then, of course, I had the game winning pick. Because especially after losing that game to the Rams, there was no way we was going to lose to a division rival. 